musical audience members that have traveled short and long distances to participate. Would Angus Mar MacFarlane from University of Canterbury also come to the stage? Can we just give a warm applause for our young MCs? These are the young people who just stepped up this morning. We literally just asked for them to volunteer this morning and they stepped up and they're jumping in. You know, one of the things we really want to make sure that our young people know, and even some of us older people, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to be nervous. What matters is that you care about your community and, and when someone asks you to help, you step up and help. Or when you see something that needs to be done, you just get up and you do it. You don't need to be asked. So I also have one last set of special guests to recognize, and we're going to actually let them share a few words with us. We have visitors from the University of Canterbury, from New Zealand, our Maori brothers and sisters, as well as some other members of our Pacific Island peoples. Although the ocean is huge, it is the ocean that connects us, so it's actually not a distance. It's ra rather a, a matter of closeness. So I want to welcome all of you to Elders and Youth. Gwinnish hawa. Kuri te manu, takiri mai te ata, ka ao, ka ao, ka awa tea, a tihe mauri ora. Kuri te manu, the melodic sound of the bellbird, takiri mai te ata in the break of day, ka ao, ka ao, ka awa tea. It is light, it is light, it is brilliant light. Tihe mauri ora, behold the breath of life. I'd just like to congratulate all the organizers of this amazing conference. Uh, and declare uh, the similarities that our nations have. Here we are, native peoples uh, from Aotearoa, New Zealand, honoured to be here amongst you uh, for this conference. Uh, we feel humble, uh, we feel privileged, uh, because we, our histories uh, have so much in common. We have shared instances of struggle uh, we, and deprivation, but like you, the native peoples of Alaska, we have reorganized our lives. We have revitalized our languages. Uh, and we have, we have reconstituted uh, our place uh, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, as the native people, uh, as the indigenous people of the islands. Uh, so we are, it's great to be here today. Uh, we are from the University of Canterbury uh, in the South Island uh, of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, and we, we can see similarities in size between Anchorage uh, and the capital of uh, New Zealand, Wellington, of about 300,000 people. Uh, and the University of Canterbury uh, is in Christchurch, the largest city in the South Island. Uh, which is also known as Te Waipounamu, uh, the land of the jade or the land of the greenstone. I'm not going to go on for long because I want my colleagues and my wife to introduce themselves. Uh, but uh, please allow me to introduce the youth of our group. Uh, and this is uh, Melissa Darby. Uh, and Melissa is a Fulbright scholar, uh, actually based in Colorado this year and part of next year. Uh, and she was the top uh, doctoral scholar uh, in the whole of the University of Canterbury. Uh, and that in, it, it wasn't just the top Māori scholar, this was the top doctoral scholar, and I want you to give uh, Melissa a big hand. <laughs> down, down the far end, we have uh, Dr. Uh, Richard. Uh, and uh, he's uh, an amazing uh, person. He uh, has really strong knowledges of the Treaty of Waitangi. Uh, and Richard Manning uh, is one of the leaders uh, in our school of teacher education uh, and in the College of Education. So a big hand of applause for Dr. Manning. Next, next to Dr. Richard Manning is uh, a matai from Samoa, uh, who is Kayarahi, or the leader of uh, uh, Pacifica uh, Affairs and Pacifica Knowledges, 
at the University of Canterbury, uh, Tufilasi Taleni. <laughs> and next to me is my wife, Dr. Sonia McFarlane, Associate Professor uh, in the, the School of Health Sciences. Uh, I'm Professor of Māori Research, uh, and I love my job because it keeps me in contact with native peoples and native knowledges uh, and, in, and, and indigenous research. Uh, and I'll close by just uh, um, making reference to those things that, that make uh, good research. Uh, and good research is about good descriptions, good explanations, and how to, it can make connections throughout the world. So we'll start down the scene. Tēnā koutou katoa ko um, Whitirea te maunga. Whitirea is the mountain ko Kinepuru te awa no Porirua aho. I am from Porirua, ko Rihari Manning tuku ingoa. My name is Richard Manning and I'm from Aotearoa. My specialty is I work in treaty education. My work is involved um, working with teachers to understand the historical legal obligations that teachers have to indigenous students in our country. Māori students in our schools have treaty rights and it's our job to uphold those rights. <coughs> uh, kia ora tātou, um, tālo falawa and warm greetings. Um, I am Tufulasi, uh, Taleni. Um, my native uh, language is Samoan. Um, well, that means I come from the, a little island called Samoa in the Pacific. I just wonder if uh, any Pacific Islanders here in the, in the audience. Excellent. Could you please stand up? Wonderful, wonderful. <clears throat> it is heartening really to be here. It's, an, uh, it's a, a, a real honor, a privilege to be in this conference. I've been inspired by the theme of the conference, Keeping the Fire Burning. As Professor Angus McFarlane uh, stated before, we have a lot of similarities. I come from a very small island of Samoa. Um, I guess in, a, in a 1985, about 100% of people in Samoa actually speak the language. But at the moment, I think we've lost 25% of the language and you can see the impact of that uh, already. And I'm very grateful really to be here, inspired um, by the amazing uh, speakers and really looking forward to the, um, the, the days ahead uh, of this to take something back really with us and, and help us, inspire us in terms of what we do collectively. I just want to finish up with Fakatoki uh, um, in Samoa. Ele suose lolo is a in English, one coconut is not enough to make a coconut oil. And I think uh, it says something really about uh, the collaboration that is required uh, for everybody. If we really want our indigenous knowledge to be reserved, maintained, and our language to be uh, maintained, I think we need more than one coconut to make coconut oil. Or we need uh, uh, everybody really uh, to be able to maintain and to work together to be able to reserve our beautiful language, our native language, our native uh, knowledge. Thank you very much. Tēnā koutou katoa, ngā mihi nui ki a koutou. Um, warm greetings to you all. Uh, like my colleagues have said, it's a real privilege to be here amongst you to share over the next few days. Uh, ko takitimu te waka, ko maua o te maunga, ko te awanui te moana, ko ngāti ranginui te iwi. Uh, takitimu is my canoe, maua is my mountain, te awanui is the sea, and ngāti ranginui is my tribe from the North Island of New Zealand. Thank you so much for such a warm welcome and I'm really looking forward to sharing over the next few days. Kia ora. Uh, tēnā tātou katoa. Hello to you all. Uh, ko Sonia Hirehini McFarlane tuku ingoa. My name is Sonia McFarlane. Uh, ko Auraki te maunga. So Mount Cook or Auraki is my mountain. Uh, Takitimu te waka. My canoe is Takitimu. 
uh, Aruhura Te Awa, my river is Aruhura. Um, Tuhuru Te Marae, so the place of my village is, the house is called Tuhuru. Um, Tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you for the warm welcome. Um, it has been such a privilege to listen to you and to make the connections between your histories and where you are now and where we are in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, I really want to acknowledge um, the guest, the keynote speaker, Wesley. Um, very inspiring and the knowledge of our elders is what will sustain us into the future. So kia ora koutou. Thank you. E ngā waka to all the canoes, e ngā reo to all the languages, e ngā mana to all the authorities, nei rā te mihi atu ki koutou, warm greetings to you all, nō mātou o Aotearoa, nā reira e raurangatira mā, e ngā waka, e ngā reo, e ngā mana, tēnā tātou katoa. Kari kari ana, na wai oro toru a, fiti atu koe hine, mari no ana e. Te aho, i te aroha e. 